Hi, I'm Dr. Nataraj Hitcham. I'm an orthopedic surgeon and specialized in shoulder and knee. Today, my concentration is mainly on preventing osteoporosis. That is how to prevent osteoporosis. So before that, let's understand what is osteoporosis and, and its basic symptom in short. Osteoporosis is a disease which weakens the bones. So in this condition, bones get weak and it can break very easily with, with a minimal injury. That is all about osteoporosis. Osteoporosis uh, is a, also called as a silent killer because there will be no symptom till the, till the osteoporosis is completely or full, fully blown up. Once the osteoporosis is completely blown up, the various patients start developing various symptoms like a backache, a stoop posture and easy fracturability of bone. That is it's a simple injury, some, some, just a twisting injury or fracture of bone can break. These are the symptoms of osteoporosis. Having understood this, let's move on to the prevention of osteoporosis, which, which is the actual content of the talk. So to prevent osteoporosis, a good nutritious food, good regular exercises and a good healthy lifestyle. These three things help in preventing osteoporosis. As far as nutrition is concerned, let me start. Generally, what people think is calcium prevents taking care extra calcium capsules prevent osteoporosis. No, that is not very much true. I, generally, when I am explaining to my patient, I always give an example of pizza, the pizza base and the pizza topping. The pizza base is like, like how bone, bone base, like pizza base, bone base is made up of proteins. So proteins is the most important thing which prevents osteoporosis. Over that, how the toppings are there in the pizza, the calcium gets deposited on the bone base, that is a protein base, which, which makes the bone stronger. So the protein intake is most important. There are a lot of sources of protein. Among that, the common source of protein are milk and milk products, legumes, and the, most of the dairy products, and also nuts and for non-vegetarians eggs and meat. These are the rich source of protein which helps in the forming the protein base that is bone base or that calcium gets deposited. So in that context even calcium is very much required to prevent osteoporosis is one of the factors. So generally calcium is adequately generally adequately available in our good Indian food but most of us switch over to the western food and lack the calcium and reduce the calcium intake. The food which rich in calcium are mainly dairy products that is one of the richest source of protein. Mainly the egg white and egg yellow as well. So that helps in providing adequate protein. Along with this most of the green leafy vegetables are rich in calcium. Next important thing is vitamin D. Vitamin D, why vitamin D is important is vitamin D helps in absorption of calcium and deposition of calcium inside the bone. In that way vitamin D helps. In India, most of the times exposing ourselves to the sunlight, that is around half an hour to 45 minutes a day, is sufficient to produce an adequate amount of uh, vitamin D. If your exposure to sunlight is less, you might require an additional extra dose of vitamin D. And next most important thing is regular exercise. Nobody stresses on the regular exercise and connection with that with osteoporosis. How our muscle builds with exercise, similarly even bone builds with exercise. This is a very important take home message for you guys. So exercises are very important in preventing osteoporosis. Mainly the weight training using dumbbells, doing push-ups, pull-ups that helps to build the bones of the upper limb and the upper spine and prevents osteoporosis. Similarly for the lower limb, jogging, running, walking, skipping, skiing, all this helps in developing the bones of the lower limb. So all together prevents osteoporosis of the entire body. Generally swimming, cycling and cross trainers or elliptical trainers, they have less role in preventing osteoporosis. Of course, they burn calories, but they have less role in preventing osteoporosis. Along with this, lifestyle modification. That is lifestyle modification sense, uh, I'm talking mainly of quitting smoking, reducing the alcohol intake and stop using soda and colas. So they can reduce the calcium intake and indirectly cause osteoporosis. Hope you understood the preventable causes of osteoporosis and you incorporate in your daily routines. For more information and for more videos, you can subscribe to my channel, Knee and Shoulder. Thank you.